DF Robot sent me their new Arduino kit for beginners. If you're interested in microcontrollers, this kit can teach you how to build your own computer. So let's go ahead and open it up. We'll make a project and I'll show you how easy it is. Let's get started. The kit comes in this nice box. Here's the project cards that show you how to wire your project exactly. Look at all those. And then on the back, it shows you the parts you need for each project. Those are nice. And inside here, look at that. All the parts are individually bagged and labeled. Nice. Let's get them on the table and see what we have here. Well, we laid all the parts out on the table. There's quite a bit to this. By the way, this kit is $50 if you're interested. I'll leave the link in the description you can get your own. This part in the bag is the actual Arduino Uno. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. They even give you a prototyping shield that fits on the top of this. And again, we'll look at that in a moment. They give you all kinds of neat parts here. Look here, there's even a remote control and you can use it along with this part. This is an IR receiver and make a project with that. It comes with a eight segment LED and tilt sensors. There's a relay, buzzers, light activated sensors. Plus they give you a bunch of jumper wires. Look at all those. Here's a battery holder. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at these two main parts here and then we'll make a project. Let's get started with that. Here's the actual Arduino Uno here, and this is based on the At Mega 328P PU chip here. You can see on the side here, it has an interface USB cable connector for programming the chip and power. And this is also for power here. And on the side, there's a button that you can reset. There's some LEDs on here. And these are the actual pin in and pin out connectors here. More on that in just a moment. And this is the other part that's nice that comes along with it. This is a prototyping shield and it comes with a little mini breadboard. And this is designed to fit on the top of this. Let me just put this on like that. And then this little breadboard fits right in here like this. And you can stick it down if you want, it has tape here. But the idea is you can do all your projects here on this little board and then plug them right into the pins. And then if you wanna keep a project, you can actually take the parts and solder them directly to these pins. And then, you know, you can take it off and keep it if you want to. But uh, it also comes with this breadboard. So you could actually put a project on here and just run the wires over. So that's a really nice feature that that has. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, pick out a project and build something. Okay, I wanna show you how to put together one of these projects. We're just gonna do the first one. This is just a simple blinking LED. And here it shows how to hook it up. And on the back, it shows the parts that we need. And we need jumper cables, which are these, okay? And then we need a yellow five millimeter LED, which you'll find in this bag, which is here. And you need a resistor, a 220, and it's here. And the nice thing about these is everything that's marked, see? So there's a bunch of them in there. Here's one here that I've already pulled out and I've already got the wires. Let's go ahead and flip this over and start building it. So we're just basically gonna copy this picture. So I'm gonna put the LED on first and you just have to look at it very closely. And there's a PDF file online and it takes you step by step. So you have also written directions.
and that's the completed project and it matches this so basically you can just follow this along and then you when you want to learn how it actually works you can read that you know instruction manual so now we have to take this over to the computer and we'll load up the sketch for project one and that'll program the computer that will actually make this blank so let's go ahead and do that now okay so i brought my circuit over to my computer i'm going to plug in the uh, usb cable here there we go okay now on the screen here i wanted to show you the df robot website this is the actual kit here and again i'll leave a link in the description if you want to purchase this if you come down near the bottom here you'll see that it has documentation and here's all the tutorials that i was telling you about that you can learn more and there's the code that you'll have to download to make the projects actually work i've already downloaded the code let me show you that now so this is our first project and they've already typed out all the code for us we can come in here and change this code if we want to to do different things but this just gets us a start and uh, you can read it it's all commented on what it does and everything but uh, all we have to do to make this project work is go ahead and upload the sketch with this button right here let's click that now it'll take a minute and it saves it onto the chip so there we go a blinking LED now this might not seem really exciting but uh, when you think about how it works it is pretty fascinating you can see here on my screen where I've got the LED pinned at number 10 and that means that it's plugged in number 10 and if I wanted to plug this into another one, I would just change the code up on the computer. Now I will add too that when I unplug this and then plug it back in, I don't have to reprogram this chip. It remembers it. So all I have to really do is apply power to this board and it will blink away. Okay, now that we've done a simple project, let's go ahead and build something a little more complicated. So something that's always fascinated me is servos. You know, you can use them in aircraft and helicopter to move the surfaces. They're very useful. And they actually give you one in this Arduino kit. And here's the card for it to make it work. So let's go ahead and make up a circuit and control this little servo they gave us. That'll be fun. Let's do that now. Alright, so I just made project 11. This is the servo controller. Just took a few minutes to put together and let's check it out. Look at that. I could pull this board right out of here and use it like a remote control. Imagine the things you could build with this. You could build a robot or all kinds of things. Let's go ahead and make something else. So it took me a few minutes, but check it out. We just made this project number 15 in the book, the infrared controller for LED matrix. And they give me the remote right here. I've already programmed it. I've got it all together. Let's check it out. It's ready. You can see the light in there. Two, three, nine, seven, 
And we checked it, and the range is pretty decent on it, too. You can go back quite a ways with this, and you can see that the arrows work to cycle, too. So, really neat project, fun to make, and we learned a lot, too. Let's go out for some final thoughts. So, some final thoughts on this Arduino kit. I really like it. The cards are easy to use, and my projects went together without a hitch and you learn a lot by putting projects like this together. I'll put a link in the description to this video if you're interested in your own. It's $50. There's a lot of fun here for 50 bucks. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave me a comment below and let me know so. And thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.